If you're a fan of professional wrestling, if you're a fan of in-ring action, you gotta be pumped, you gotta be excited for Wednesday nights from now on. You've got ROH, you've got TNA, all under one roof. You've got Lucha Underground. You've got NXT on the WWE Network. There's wrestling all over the place. No matter what type of wrestling fan you are, there has to be at least one product that at least is compelling or interesting enough to you to actually bother to check out. And if you're a fan of all different types of professional wrestling and happen to like some or all of these companies, you've got one big wrestling orgy on Wednesday nights because you could sit there and potentially watch four different companies in the span of one evening or one 24-hour stretch. I know it's incredible, isn't it? And now you've got people talking about what a great thing this is for professional wrestling. Competition back in professional wrestling. And that this is the start of the Wednesday Night Wars. <laughs> oh, God. The Wednesday Night Wars. <laughs> This is a thing. People are actually referring to this as the Wednesday Night Wars. The fuck type of war is this? Is the state of American professional wrestling that god awful and that terrible that a bunch of second rate companies and a bigger company's developmental brand all happening to run on the same night is being classified as a wrestling war. <laughs> I mean, let's call it as we really see it. These so-called alleged Wednesday night wars. I get it. So many of you believe that competition would be good for the professional wrestling business, especially because the WWE's been able to do whatever the hell they've wanted to for the past decade plus, in part because they haven't been checked because there has been no competition. I don't disagree with you. You're right. When there's no direct wrestling competition, nobody directly competing for that specific fan base, it's not good for the WWE and their product. It's not good for the business as a whole. I'm with you on that. But just because you want something to happen so bad, doesn't mean that this is something that is actually happening. The Wednesday Night Wars. I'm sorry. <laughs> to me, if anything shows just how terrible the state of American professional wrestling is, this has to, has to fucking be it. Let's look at the com combatants, the fighters, if you will, in this Wednesday Night War. You've got ROH who's going to have one hour as a freaking lead-in to Impact. ROH has one hour. And on top of that, this isn't even going to be first-run programming. This is going to be repeats, I believe, if I understand correctly, from what has already aired in other syndicated Sinclair markets over the weekend. <laughs> It'll be leading into Impact. A two-hour show that has now changed its time slot from the ridiculous time slot they were given by Destination America because that network is freaking stupid to the point where they don't even bother spell-checking the freaking press releases. <laughs> Impact is spelled I-M-A-P-C-T. Fucking that speaks to Destination America. They don't even know what fucking time it's airing. <laughs> to, for a TNA show that might not even be, Impact Wrestling might not even be carried by that network after September. And all the while, both of these shows are on a network that most of you don't freaking get because you either don't have the package available or if it is available where you can even get Destination America, it's so ridiculous in terms of the additional expense that you'd have to incur in order to get it, you just can't possibly justify it because you don't watch anything else on that freaking network or most of the other channels associated with that package. And then you've got Lucha that's on a network that I don't know if I've ever even seen I don't even know if I've ever heard of what is it, the L-Ray Network? What the fuck is that? And then you've got NXT, who isn't even on television. They're on the WWE Network. A developmental territory at that. This is going to be great for professional wrestling. This is going to be some intricate bullshit battle and some fight to the bitter end. If this doesn't tell you how close the business is to the bitter end in terms of any form of mainstream relevance, I don't know what the fuck is. This 
this is how bad it's gotten, people. You're grasping for straws now over bullshit like this, a freaking Wednesday night war. And it's not even much of a war. Because you know damn good and well, unless you don't want to believe it at this point in time, for what reason, I know not why. The only reason ROH is on Destination America is because Destination America wants to be in the professional wrestling business to a certain degree, but they don't want to be in it at TNA's price. So they want to bring in ROH, as I've explained before, and some of you knuckleheads don't get. They can bring in ROH, siphon off some of that audience, bring some of that ROH audience to the network, potentially maybe get half the viewers, but at a quarter of the cost. It makes business sense, even though I don't fully agree agree with it and I can't believe that Destination America is so quickly backing out on TNA because in part again that shows me that they weren't that committed to begin with. If you were committed to it and you didn't have the long term vision to understand how it could be a good thing to carry something like that on your godforsaken network then why the fuck get into the deal with them to begin with? At least they were smart enough to give themselves an out clause. At least they were smart enough to give themselves creative control over the TNA brand um, because TNA allowed it to happen because they allowed somebody else to negotiate the contract with for uh, Destination America because they are idiots. So you've got ROH there basically for three plus months as a sample run to see if that brand could carry enough of an audience to be able to kick Impact Wrestling off of the air so that way ROH could potentially take its slot. It's pretty much a one-sided battle. Now some of you will naively believe that, hey, you know, if ROH brings a big boon to Impact's viewership, it's going to do awesome and incredible things that Destination America is going to magically change their mind. Keep wishing. Keep hoping. Never say never, I guess, in professional wrestling, but it might be close to time to say never. And then you've got Lucha Underground. Again, where the hell is this network that they're on? I have never seen this network. I don't believe I've ever heard of this network, and I'm sure some of you are going to point it out to me and think I'm so stupid for not knowing where the hell to find this network. But then you go to another company's basically B-show, or in this case C-show, if you throw SmackDown in as a B-show, the C-show, their developmental brand. It's on the WWE Network. It's not even on an actual television network. These are the participants. These are the combatants. A karate company in ROH versus a company that's still, I don't know what the fuck they are in TNA, versus a lucha company that's on a network that most people I don't think have ever fucking heard of, and then a company that is the C-show for the WWE. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a great night in professional wrestling. No! This means that people involved are fucking morons. And they can't figure out that you maybe have other nights of the week that you could be running wrestling. Like, oh, I don't know, Tuesdays! The WWE already has their audience on Wednesdays. So instead of Destination America sitting there and saying, hey, WWE runs Raw on Monday... They run NXT on Wednesday. They run SmackDown on Thursday. Friday night is a shitty time slot. Let's go ahead and really give these guys their own night and their own chance to succeed by putting them on Tuesday night. No, instead you've got them competing with other companies for a piss-poor-sized audience on freaking Wednesday nights. <laughs> I mean, do you really envision yourself? Let's be honest here. If you actually lived through and remember the Monday Night Wars, you were flipping between Nitro and Raw on a consistent basis. You know, the second WCW did something that was stupid, you'd flip over to WWF and then vice versa. WWF, when they did something stupid, you're checking out WCW and hoping they're not doing something stupid. I mean, this was a blood battle, and you were flipping back and forth as a fan from one segment to the next, frankly, one minute to the next. Are you really going to be sitting there and flipping back and forth between ROH and Lucha or Impact Wrestling and NXT? Ha! The state of American professional wrestling is so bad <laughs> that you've got... A glorified independent promotion with a crappy syndicated television deal in ROH now being used as a lead-in to be a potential replacement for TNA's Impact Wrestling. <laughs> then you've got Impact with its two hours on a night that they should have been on all along. At least most certainly better than a Friday night. You've got Lucha with fucking L. Ray or whatever the hell time they come on. And then you got freaking NXT. 
<laughs> the next thing you're going to tell me, oh, it's going to get even better once Global Force Wrestling gets off the ground and they get rolling because they've been going to minor league baseball parks. Yes, let's, let's look to the future and the fact that he's basically trying to mimic an organization in the NWA that, while technically exists for all intents and purposes, hasn't fucking mattered in 30 damn years. <laughs> and all the while, it's still nothing more than a Jeff Jarrett fucking vanity project. <laughs> The Wednesday Night Wars. Who's going to win this war? <laughs> Who's going to draw first blood? Who's going to throw the first jab? Who's going to make the first invasion? Oh my god, they can do an ROH TNA invasion angle! <laughs> if you want to save the real winner, sir, you as wrestling fans think god. Oh god. More power to you. I don't know what you're winning. <laughs> what, what are you winning exactly? <laughs> yes, go ahead. If you watch one of those brands and you want to flame away on me, go right ahead in the comments. For me on Wednesday night, I will be watching one of them. I'll be watching NXT. Because instead of having to pay 40-something bucks for, for, in order to get Destination America, 30, 40, I think it's 40, in order to get the different packages in order to get it, I could pay my $9.99 a month for the network and be able to watch NXT. That way I only have to spend one hour watching it, and the production values are much better, and there will actually be a couple of people that I frankly give a shit about. And that'll be the ultimate winners of this, is... The company that's the developmental company for somebody else that's not even on television. <laughs> Some fucking war is it? Wednesday night wars. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you guys. I needed this. And I will certainly need all that <laughs> the hate and vitriol that you're going to spit at me in the comments section. Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> it's cheeseburger 